O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 11. Your Salary and Wages. The following dialogue is related to Unit 7, Employment, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following unit of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 7.13. Your Salary. The Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator, Ali, Sadia, Obasi, and other refugees are in the Canadian Orientation Abroad Session Room. A childminder takes Sadia's and Obasi's children to the childminding room until the session is over. The Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator starts the session. Hello, everyone. Today, we will talk about what happens when you get a job and how you get paid. I like this session. <laughs> okay, let us go over salaries. So, in Canada, employers are legally required to pay a minimum wage. The minimum wage is different in each province and territory. You can read online about the minimum wage scales for different jobs in your community. When you get paid, it will normally not be in cash. Instead, it will be a check or direct deposit. Direct deposit? It is when the money you have earned is directly transferred to your bank account. Each time you are paid for your job, you will get a pay statement, one for each pay period. What do you mean by pay statement? A pay statement is a document you will get in person or electronically, explaining how much you got paid for each time period, whether it be in weeks or months. The amount that you get in your bank account is your net pay, which will be lower than your wage multiplied by the number of hours you worked. Why is that? Well, deductions are taken from your total salary to cover things like income tax, pension benefits, as well as employment insurance. All workers in Canada have these deductions. Okay. What are pension benefits? In Canada, all workers contribute a small part of the money they earn to a public pension fund called the Canada Pension Plan. Additionally, when a person in Canada reaches the age of 65 or older and has lived in Canada for a certain amount of time, they get a small amount of money every month from the government. This is called old age security. That is great. So, does that mean the government keeps track of my income and I can get the pension after I retire? Not exactly. You have to report your income to the Canada Revenue Agency every year. Each year, you will get a document from your employer called a T-4. Your T-4 is a statement of your total earnings and deductions for that year. You will need that T-4 to declare your taxable income and pay income tax by April 30th each year. I see. Are there jobs where we do not have to pay taxes? All workers in Canada have to pay taxes. That is the law. If you do not pay taxes on the money you receive from a job, this type of work is called under the table, and it is illegal. If an employer or employee gets caught not paying taxes, there are serious legal consequences. Like I said, 
All workers in Canada pay taxes on their income. Ah, so if an employer offers me work under the table, I should not take it. I do not want to get in trouble with the law for not paying taxes. This is a lot of important information. How can we remember all of this? All of this information is online, as well as in your Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. You can also ask your government funded organization or your sponsors, or go to a government funded organization for newcomers that offers employment services in your community. They can help you as well. End of dialogue unit.